Good morning from Florida Space Coast on this historic day. We have Blue Origin, the second ever company to land the first stage of an orbital class rocket on a drone ship, making their way into Port Canaveral after the launch of New Glenn on its escapade mission. This is the first time Blue Origin have done this. It's the largest of its type to have landed on a drone ship. So behind the Blue Origin barge we've got another barge that looks to be transporting an orbital tank farm. Several fuel tanks likely making their way to launch Complex 39A, where SpaceX intends to launch a Starship in the future. So here come the tugs St. John's, Christine and Elizabeth. They're going to be helping to guide Harvey Stone in with the landing platform vessel Jacqueline. And in the background we have the common sight of two Falcon 9 boosters on the dockside there. This new Glen is an impressive 7 metres in diameter, uh, making this a particularly large object compared to the Falcon 9 that we're used to seeing on the drone ships, which come in at about 3.7 metres in diameter. There's someone out there and is playing getting all those good aerial shots. So it's particularly appropriate that the first stage booster is going to be coming past Launch Complex 36, where New Glenn launched the escapade mission last week. So you've got the Blue Origin security boat going ahead, making sure no vessels are in the way of the space flotilla. Plethora of boats now making their way out to see the booster coming in. That's the ocean-going tug Harvey Stone bringing the landing platform back in. You can see they're flying the US flag after a successful catch.
there's those landing legs. The first stage booster is nicknamed Never Tell Me The Odds. Now everyone's rushing down to see the booster as it gets offloaded to the dockside. So in the foreground we have Blue Origins, New Glen first stage booster on the drone ship as it comes into Port Canaveral. In the background we have SpaceX's two Falcon 9 boosters on the dockside having previously landed on drone ships. So landing platform Vessel 1. It's named Jacqueline after Jeff Bezos's mother. Alright, we're now going to rush down to the dockside to see that booster. New Glen is making its way into the port. We're going to be docking opposite Gator's Portside Restaurant.
We've got Jeff Bezos down there, watching over the operation. Yeah, it's very appropriate, you've got the Blue Origin landing platform, Jacqueline, passing SpaceX's drone ship, just read the instructions. And there you can see one of those Falcon 9 boosters on the right, with the New Glenn booster on the left. The first two companies to have successfully landed the first stage of an orbital rocket on a drone ship. Somebody's climbing out the side of the helicopter. What? Somebody's climbing out the side of the helicopter. Is yours right now? Is it? Probably because the helicopter was landing on the contact. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're back inside. Over on the right, you have the crane that Blue Origin will be using to lift the booster onto the dockside. See all the Blue Origin staff on the dockside preparing to assist with the recovery operation. And over there is the huge transporter vehicle I'm going to be bringing it back to Blue Orange's facility here on the Space Coast. So you've got the photo ship up there, capturing the uh, historic event of the company. Looks like the helicopter's done getting its photos. Now they're heading back to base. And just to the right of Jacqueline, that is the Oshkosh M1070, heavy equipment transporter, previously used by the US Army to haul tanks, currently being used by Blue Origin to haul the New Glenn first stage booster. So one thing you'll notice is how much cleaner the New Glenn first stage booster looks on the left compared to the Falcon 9 first stage boosters on the right. New Glenn uses methane in its combustion sequence, producing an overall much cleaner burn. So this is compared with the kerosene used in Falcon 9's combustion sequence. You can see just how booster 78 on the right there is so much more sussier than all the other boosters having flown 24 times. 
be interesting to see how these different fuel types affect the space industry in the future. Alrighty then, hopefully we can come back here later and get that New Glenn first stage booster being transported by road on the back of a heavy equipment transporter under the escort of the Sheriff's Department back to Blue Origins facility by the Kennedy Space Center here on Florida's Space Coast. Other than that, that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.